My name's Simon Singh, I'm a science writer uh, and I've written books such as Fermat's Last Theorem or Fermat's Enigma, if you're in America, um, Big Bang, The Code Book, uh, Trick or Treatment. Um, my latest book though is The Simpsons and Their Mathematical Secrets. When I tell people I'm writing a book about mathematics and The Simpsons, they're, they're quite surprised. Um, what they don't realise is that seven or eight of the writers on The Simpsons are heavyweight mathematicians. Uh, and also what people don't realise is that those mathematical writers have been smuggling mathematics into the series over the last 20 years. Um, and the sort of mathematics you find in The Simpsons ranges from um, calculus to geometry, from pi to the Googleplex, from infinitesimals all the way to infinity. It all crops up in The Simpsons. On day one, uh, you have somebody like Al Jean, who worked on the very first episode of The Simpsons. And he's a guy who uh, went to Harvard when he was 16 and did a degree in mathematics. Uh, and then you have somebody like Jeff Westbrook, who did a PhD, he did complete his PhD at Princeton on something about dynamic graph algorithms. And then there's uh, Ken Keeler, who did a PhD in applied mathematics at Harvard. These are strong mathematicians and obviously great comedy writers. Typically, I take an episode of The Simpsons and I find the mathematics in that episode um, and then I talk about the mathematics, I expand on it and give some background explanation or I talk about the writers who came up with the idea, uh, talk about their mathematical interests. Um, I should also point out that I also write about the sister series, Futurama. Um, a lot of the writers who've worked on The Simpsons have also worked on Futurama. They're all heavyweight mathematicians. They all carry on their, their smuggling of mathematical ideas onto TV. There's one episode called Treehouse of Horror 6, one of the, the Halloween episodes. And in one scene from, from that, that episode, you have uh, a mention of something called P versus NP, a million dollar maths problem. If you can solve this problem, you get a million dollars. Um, there's a, a mention of the most elegant equation in the whole of mathematics, something called Euler's equation. Um, the whole story of, of a segment called Homer 3 in, in Treehouse of Horror 6 um, is, is about um, what it's like to live in a higher dimensional world. Um, and there's, there's also a mention of Fermat's Last Theorem. And uh, I've written a book about Fermat's Last Theorem, so that's the subject that's close to my heart. Um, and I suspect, in a way, that's probably how I got interested in the mathematics of The Simpsons. Having seen this reference to an obscure bit of maths called Fermat's Last Theorem, uh, I began to think, you know, how much else is buried in the series? I think I write my books for the general reader. They're, they're not aimed at the specialist reader, so I don't expect the readers to have any specialist knowledge um, of mathematics or maybe even The Simpsons. Um, but I do expect readers just to be curious. I think that's all I want from them. And, and if they're curious, I'll give them extraordinary ideas. Um, and, I, and I hope people don't think that because this is a, a book about The Simpsons and Simpsons is pop culture, um, that this is going to be a lightweight book. Um, the ideas in, in, in this book, I think, are as abstract and as elegant and as beautiful as anything in any of my other books, hopefully.